We're gonna actually get into this video pretty quickly today. Uh, what I wanna do is show you guys how to make your own Motorcycle Club t-shirt design in Illustrator as fast as possible and as easy as possible. So if you are a beginner, do not worry, I got your back guys. I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know um, to make this design possible today. Um, hope you guys have fun with it. Before we get into the actual tutorial part of this video, I do wanna give a huge shout out to my friends at Bella Canvas. They make these videos possible every single month for me, so huge shout out to them. Maybe you need to start a clothing brand, maybe you wanna print some shirts, they have you covered. The thing that separates Bella Canvas is their fabrics. A lot of people don't really think about that. So if you're looking at brands like American Apparel, Next Level and all that stuff, they use basic cotton blends that are ring spun. And if you look at Bella Canvas's fabric, it's much softer because they use something called heirloom cotton. And what you get is a super soft um, cotton that is not only comfortable to wear, it also prints great and it lasts a long time. So check them out in the description below. We're gonna get back to the tutorial now. Whenever I'm designing any type of merch design, I always start my design the same way. I start with the center of the design and the reason why is because I wanna build all of my typography around that center piece, right? So if you're new to creating t-shirt designs and all that stuff, I definitely recommend you guys start with the center. It's gonna help you develop structure with your designs and they're gonna look much more full and just well put together. So let's go and get started. I have this graphic here that I found on freepick.com. That is with a K, guys, a K, freepick with a K.com, okay? I'm just emphasizing that and I'm not gonna say why, but anyway, um, I will also link it in the, in the description below. Um, I have this graphic that I found. Now, you guys can go find any motorcycle graphic you want. This is just to save time. I'm not gonna sit here and illustrate a motorcycle because it's gonna take way too long. So I have this one right here. What I wanna do is go to File New, and again, we are using Illustrator, the latest version. So we're gonna click on this first one. It's a four inch by four inch document. Now, you guys are probably asking yourself, why are you using a four inch by four inch document, Charlie? That is weird. The reason why is because this is a vector-based program, unlike Photoshop, which is a pixel-based program. So vector means I can blow any image up to any size, and since it's not pixel-based, it's never gonna lose quality. So I can upscale it all I want, which means I can resize later, and this is also going to be easier on my computer as well since it's a small document. I hope that made sense. Let's go ahead and move forward now. So the first thing I wanna do, since we are starting with the centerpiece, is we're gonna copy this graphic over. I'm gonna select it, do Command C, and then go over here, Command V, and that is going to paste it. Now it's gonna be really big. That's totally fine. We're gonna rescale it here. We're gonna downscale it and drag it in the center, and we just wanna focus on building around the centerpiece, okay? So what I wanna do, since this is for a motorcycle club, is we're gonna make up a name and all that stuff, but I wanna make a top and bottom rocker. If you guys don't know what a rocker is, it's basically a banner that is, um, I don't know, arced? <laughs> it's hard to explain, let me show you. Hit M on your keyboard and that's gonna go to your rectangle tool, whatever you wanna call it. And with this, you can actually make a rocker. And then let's just drag out a quick rectangle. And what we wanna do is also make sure we have a stroke on it. So go up to the top left of your uh, Illustrator menus here. We can make it thicker later on, that's not a big deal. Um, what we wanna do now is kinda make it a little shorter, about right there is fine. It's a little too tall too, so I made it a little shorter. And then let's go up to Effect, go to Warp, and we're gonna go to Arc, okay? We're just gonna add a quick Arc, and we just wanna adjust it um, to our liking. So I think this looks pretty good. And then make sure Previews check so you can see what that looks like, and then hit OK if you're happy with it. I actually made it four points because I felt like it needed to be a little thicker. So right now, what I wanna do is actually add text that's the same arc as our banner. In order to do that, I'm gonna use an ellipse. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow me to type text around this ellipse and make it match the same arc as our banner. So I'm just dragging out an ellipse and I'm gonna copy the same exact arc as the bottom part of our rocker up here. So I'm gonna go about right there. I think that looks pretty good. Now what we're gonna do is go to our type on a path tool, which obviously allows us to type on paths. And what we have here is an ellipse and it has a path on it, right? So we're gonna go to our type tool first and we're gonna go down a little bit on the menu and go to type on a path. And we're just gonna type out something. I'm just gonna type in SoCal for now. And I'm gonna go to this font called Brothers OT. And the reason why I use this font is not only because I love it, but it's also included with the Adobe Type Kit. So if you guys have a subscription to the Creative Cloud, you guys can download this font right now with the Type Kit. And you guys can start using it with this tutorial. So plus, right? Anyway, so we have SoCal. Now what I need to do is go to my character palette and I just need to change the baseline shift a little bit. It's a little off. So we're gonna go 
to the baseline shift again and go down a little bit. So I'm, I'm negative eight right now. Another thing I noticed is the letters are kind of really crunched together and I don't like that. So I wanna change the kerning as well. So what I wanna to do to fix that is double click on my text and I wanna hold an option on my keyboard. I'm using a Mac and I just wanna change the kerning a little bit. And as you can see, it is spacing out and then we can kind of go in between each letter and mess with that to make it look a little bit more balanced. We can actually go to the paragraph too and center it before we do that. That's gonna help a little bit. And we just wanna make sure these are even. And I think that looks pretty good. Now, I don't really like the name. So we're gonna type in Rebel. Rebel sounds like a good name, why not? So now I have the name Rebel, which is gonna be the name of our motorcycle club. And below that, I wanna type in motorcycle. So we wanna go ahead and actually type out club first so we have that. And I'm just gonna drag that out of the way. And then we wanna type out motorcycle just like this. And I wanna find a nice cursive font for this, okay? So let's go ahead and look for some cursive fonts. I really like this cursive font, so we're gonna go with it again. It's called Rosemary. The problem with calligraphy is sometimes it can sit a little weird. So I think I wanna make club really small and just kind of spread it out a little bit and put it on the left-hand side of my, my font here. It just looks a little weird for some odd reason. I don't like the spacing of it. Really what you wanna do is you wanna focus on the font sizes and the balance of the design. Um, it's a little off balance right now, and the reason why is because Rosemary is a little bit thin for this design. So what I could do is I can add a stroke around Rosemary, just a black stroke, and that's gonna thicken it up a little bit. And as you can see, now it looks a little bit um, better. I think it belongs to this design a little bit more now. We're just gonna type out Ride Hard because this was on the original design where I found this guy. Um, and it makes sense, right? And this is just gonna fill up some space here so it looks a little bit less empty. And I'm gonna group these together and just make sure they are centered on my artboard. So now it says Ride Hard. I don't mind the way that looks, so we're gonna stick with it. And then down here, we're gonna duplicate club and we're gonna type out 1991. So we're gonna put the date here. That looks a little weird, so I don't like that. We're just gonna type in 91. And we can outline these, so Shift-Command-O on a Mac. I don't know what it is for PC, sorry. Another thing that I think needs to be done is I think Motorcycle and Club 91 need to be a little bit bigger, so I'm just increasing the size just a little bit right here. Another thing that I would like to do is add a warp to Ride Hard, okay? So what I wanna do is click on Ride first, go up to Effect, Warp, and then we're gonna go to, where is it at? We're gonna go to Rise and we're gonna add a rise to this, and this is gonna give it a nice look here. So we're at 36% on there, and we're gonna to go to hard and do the same exact thing. So we're gonna to go to rise, only this time we're gonna go negative with it. So let's see what that looks like. And then we're gonna move them down just a little bit. And as you can see now, it looks like it has a little bit more life to it. And um, yeah, I, I just think it looks much better. I think it needs one more element. So what I wanna do is add some stars to the bottom of Ride Hard. And again, this is really personal preference. You don't have to do this, but I think that it can definitely help the design shine a little bit more. Um, so again, we're gonna add them just because. What I did is I added a little bit of a bigger star next to it. So it kind of copies the same rise as Ride. And then we can do the same thing for the other side. So I'm just gonna flip this real quick. And I wanna use the reflect tool for that. I'm gonna copy it and I'm flipping it vertically. I know that I'm not explaining every little detail, guys, but um, if you guys watch this over and over again, I promise you, you will get it down. A lot of the tools that I'm using are very basic. So um, if you guys wanna learn even further, I do have a T-shirt design masterclass in Illustrator and Photoshop that's on Udemy right now. So you guys can click on the link below and sign up for my course. It teaches you everything you need to know from scratch. So that is definitely gonna be the course for you if you don't know how to use Illustrator that well. That is how you design a motorcycle club shirt. Um, is this perfect? No, but it doesn't always have to be perfect. I really like the way this looks. If we wanted to, we can add some grunge to it and all that stuff, but again, I'm actually really happy with this design, the way it turned out. So if you guys want to learn more about how to make t-shirts designs and other things in Illustrator or Photoshop for that matter, let me know in the comment section below. I always have fun making these videos for you guys. Hope you learned something new today, guys. And also, if you guys are looking to start a clothing line, if you're printing some stuff, looking for some wholesale blanks, check out Bella Canvas in the description below. Keep creating, keep being awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Happy Halloween.